everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on the ColourPop Gimme Butterflies palette. This is so beautiful. I wore it in a video earlier this month and people were like, what's on your eyes? And, <clears throat> oh my goodness, excuse me. But I really wanted to show you um, a really fun look with it. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and we're doing a giveaway once we hit 250 subscribers. So subscribe, ring the bell, give me a thumbs up, and follow me on Instagram. So yeah, we are gonna go into it. I have swatches, and I also have a whole playlist dedicated to palette reviews that is linked down below. I also always list the makeup that I use yesterday's video as well, since I do upload five days a week, which is kind of crazy. So we're going to go through swatches. This palette I got for Christmas from my best friend, Michaela. Oh my goodness, it has two of those glitter shades. We talked about that with the Disney Midnight Masquerade palette. It had some glitters in there. Um, I'm actually really liking it. I like those kinds of glitter shades. The only downfall is that there is a lot of fallout. So use a glitter glue, just word of caution, I think with any glitter, no matter what, use a glitter glue. Oh my goodness, I love this shade. I used this shade in that video that I was wearing it and people were like, oh my God, your eyeshadow. I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I'd wear it out of the house, but. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not very confident with makeup. I feel like when I want to go over the house, I just want to wear something neutral, something that blends in, maybe some purple or blue or warm toned, but um, I don't want to go all out. I don't know why I'm like this. I always kind of have been, but I'd like to get out of it. So let's go through swatches. The first row is You're a Catch, Over It, Woke, and Making Move. Second row is Fair Play, Winged, Get Lost, and Glider. Third row is Overpacked, Labyrinth, Skipper, and Bloomin'. So pretty. Oh my goodness, I love it. So we're gonna, let's just go ahead and get started. I kind of want to do something a little different, but we're get, definitely gonna use one of the glitters for sure. So I'm gonna first go into, oh no, I gotta put my eyes first. It's been a long day, you guys. Like, whew. I started school uh, back up this semester and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, my brain. <laughs> I'm in an economics course, which um, I'm finding to be a little bit challenging. Um, there is a course that I'm in that's super demanding, and I'm like, oh my god, just stop it. We're gonna go into MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and I'm just going to prime my eyes. Get that with a course where you're like, relax. I just want to tell the teacher, like, relax. Also, do you ever... I had a teacher once who was almost seemed like she was like just like reaching to give us assignments did you do have you ever had a teacher like that like let me know because oh my goodness it literally came to the point where i was like this does nothing for me like <laughs> and that course ended up being like literally did not i i don't think improved me at all i just literally wiped off my brush and it just went Phew. but i'm just gonna set my eyes I primer with a little bit of powder. I always do this just because I hate the tugging or the skipping or anything like that. I just use the J Cat Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation. This is really good. Now we're gonna go into the shade Woke. Ooh, I gotta zoom up. Is the shade Woke? So I'm just going to buff this in my crease. I definitely need my hand mirror. I was using like the mirror that kind of sits on my vanity, but oh girl, I need something up close. I'm, I also need to start thinking about wedding makeup, like what I want to use on my eyes, all that stuff. Cause I think I am going to do my own makeup, but I don't really know what to do. And it's, it's, good. it's a little over six months away and I got to start thinking about that. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little smaller crease brush and I wanna go into, ooh, hmm. I think I wanna go more of the purpley route since you've already seen me with a look with the these orangey reds. So I'm gonna go into Fair Play, which is this one right here. I think you can get this at Ulta. I think you can. I would be shocked if you couldn't. 
I just, I wish there was more ColourPop coming into Ulta, but ColourPop, you know, they launch so much that it's like, how does Ulta, you know, keep up? I wish they had some of their 9 pan palettes. Those would be really fun to be able to touch and whatnot. Because I do like those 9 pan palettes. But I don't know. I'm hesitant to buy them. Just because I don't know if I really want a <laughs> monochromatic palette that you can't really do much with. As you can tell here, I'm just kind of talking while doing this, but um, I'm really slowly building up. It does take some time. I have an eyebrow here to pluck. Oh my god, in my last video I had to do this too. Makeup just kind of, it makes everything better in my opinion. So I want to go into a, a little bit of, I think I'm just my lower lash line. But I'm going to go into Skipper, which is a little bit darker. Purple. Not magenta, but lilac. I don't know. This is going to go on the lower lash line. These do have a lot of kickback, so keep that in mind when you are doing eyeshadow. I think ColourPop shadows always kind of do. And if you hear about anything, I live on a busy street, and oh my goodness, I swear to you, we got another hit of like three inches of snow. I'm sick of snow. I hate snow. I wish I lived somewhere where it didn't snow, but then I'm like, well, humidity. Well, this, well, that. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I need a lesser of two evils. Kind of reminds me of my, box, my BoxyCharm video. Kind of like the pinkish eye. I'll link that video down below for you. It'd be, it's pretty fun. I'm gonna go into You're a Catch. I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. Why, thank you. I know I'm a catch. Oh. I'm such a, I'm such a loser. Oh my goodness. I definitely want to play with this because I did wear this in the last, in that video, but I haven't used this one. Ooh, we're going to use it. I'm going to go into over it. I think we're going to put this one on top just for, just for fun and because I can. So we're going to take over it and apply it with our fingers. I don't like applying a lot of eyeshadow with my fingers but I feel like shimmers are always best applied with your fingers. I don't really know why. You know, you just kind of see everybody on YouTube do it and then you're like, oh, I should try it. And then you try it and you're like, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> Can you tell it's been a long day for me? <laughs> but I'm gonna go into Overpacked. Look at that glitter. It's more purple in real life, I promise. But I just, just for the heck of it, I just wanna do it. It may not necessarily, like, match, but whatever. And I'm not going to use glitter glue. Even though I just said use glitter glue. I wore the Tati Beauty palette to work. Oh my gosh. And I got so many compliments. People were like, I love your eyeshadow. And I had, like, the glitter on and everything. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you very much. It's only one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes in the entire world. I think I have turned a lot of people onto that palette. People love it, man. Um, between the Tati Beauty glitters and the ColourPop glitters, I think I like Tati glitter better, but it's hearsay, really. Um, I think these ones are a little more chunky. Let me show you, actually. If you look, like, this way on the palette, you can tell, like, there's, like, chunks of it coming up. And I don't really like that, so that can be a little annoying. But hey, like, it doesn't, it's not bad. I got glitter all over my face because I was the idiot that didn't use glitter pri glitter primer, so. It's a little bit of Too Faced Better Than Sex. Don't you love the little candy cane print? Oh my goodness, so cute. But I just think, you know, out of all the ColourPop releases, I like to do a little little ColourPop review here and there. This palette is so cute and I just wanted to show it to you guys and just show you like, hey, if you've never tried ColourPop shadows, the shadows really blend so well. And I've really noticed that, especially with the mattes, they're very buildable and I think that they work very well together. Um, some of the shimmers 
can be slightly lackluster. I, it doesn't bother me too much. Um, like, over it is a little lackluster compared to, like, this one and this one. So, mainly there's more mattes in here, but then there's those two glitters, which are so fun. Yeah, and they also have a disclaimer on here with the glitters, like, not to use on the immediate eye area. Um, again, take that on your own risk. They have to do that with glitter products, just because if you don't, people hurt themselves or whatever. Then, you, then your company is not li is liable for that. So if you have that written on there, you can do it at your own risk. So um, I just know that I am good with glitter. I don't have any weird reaction to it. I'm okay. If you aren't, don't, I don't know. If you have really sensitive skin or whatever, it can cut your skin, but I've never seen that happen to anybody. So again, at your own risk. If you are concerned about it, don't do it. But there are other beautiful shades to put on, put on your eyes. Like, oh my goodness. Such a gorgeous palette. And I just, this red, when I wore it in that video, I just, it was so beautiful. I think I'm going to try and find that video. I'll link it down below for you. I just love this look. Oh my goodness. So, now it's time for lips. I think I'm going to go with the, mil 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 <laughs> the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Virgin. love a nice nude lip for a nice pink eye. I'm going to let this dry for a second, but you guys, I love this. My grandparents got it for me for Christmas, and it's the Fenty Beauty lip gloss set. And I think I want to use either the hot pink or this, like, red orange. I don't know. I can't remember which one I haven't used recently, because I do like to go into these a lot. I think I'm going to go in with the, with the reddish orange. But I don't even want to take these out of the little container. I think they're just too cute. This one's in the shade Cheeky. I think you can still get this on Sephora. But these gloss bombs are so good. They're so smooth, not sticky. I just love them. And they smell really good too. Mm. I literally have this sitting up on my vanity just because I just reach for this all the time. Again, such a good gloss formula. If you need a good recommendation for a gloss formula, Fenty. Fenty. Too Faced has some nice glosses. Um, Morphe's alright. Anastasia is pretty good. But Fenty is the best. I'm looking forward to seeing Fenty in a boxy charm. Imagine getting like a full size Fenty lipstick or a powder in there. Oh my god. That would be amazing. That would be so fun. Okay. Boxycharm needs to get on that. <laughs> Boxycharm also needs to give me a full-size Natasha on a palette in my boxy looks. That would never happen, though. <laughs> so, wow. Lots of rambling there, but um, thank you for watching. It always means so much to me when you click on my videos. I love doing them. I think that they are so fun. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!